Good afternoon. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Mike Powers. Let's start with Kristen Van Dyke and the forecast. Kristen. And good afternoon. We're not going to be looking at many thunderstorms today. So rain chance is still fairly slim, less than what we saw last week, of course. Our focus is going to be mainly across northern and western New Mexico today, but very spotty and, of course, up in the mountains, too. And as we head through the next couple of days, uh, not a whole lot of moisture for us to work with, so just mainly isolated shower and thunderstorm activity for the mountains. But by the end of the work week, we could start to see a little more moisture moving in for western and central New Mexico, getting those rain chances up just a bit for us. As far as temperatures are concerned, we're going to remain right about average. Highs today in the low 90s for the metro area, mid 90s for the rest of the week. And again, those rain chances start to go back up by Thursday. Albuquerque police continue to follow leads after a man was gunned down under a hail of gunfire on Arno Southeast yesterday afternoon. Witnesses say four men jumped out of a 1990s blue Dodge Neon and opened fire, killing 36 year old Quincy Booker of Albuquerque. About 15 shots were unloaded, according to witnesses, and then the men got back into their car and left. Booker did have a criminal history dating back to 1995. A nasty mess along the Animas River through Durango. A pipe is leaking raw sewage into the river. This is file video of the river that's known for its fishing and runs right through the town of Durango. City officials say the sewage has been flowing directly into the river since at least Friday. The leak is just north of the Durango Skate Park on the bank of the river, the west side, but they're having a hard time finding the break. City officials say they're testing the water above and below. Crews have been vacuuming the sewage into waste tanks. Right now there's no impact to drinking water, we're told. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.